What is going on, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Video Game Bang, Sacramento's number one geek and gaming podcast. We are sponsored by Energy Esports, Vast GG, Mainframe USA, and Oblivion Comics and Coffee. Woo woo! <laughs> if you don't know why uh, the person to my left just said woo woo, you will find out. Um, <laughs> <laughs> We have a very exciting show for you guys today. The music is off. I just... He put different intro music. That's different. Alright! <laughs> so... <laughs> Corey is not here. Corey is in um, Atlanta uh, with uh, the Smite team for energy. So uh, I am taking over and with me I have the one and only Emma Skies. What up nerds? And I have... Laura from Oblivion Comics and Coffee. Hey. Welcome back. Thanks for having me back. It's been um like 30 years since the last time it you were It feels here. that way. It's been 84 it's years. It's been a long time. This is actually, I just want to say, this is I think the first time I've been on a show with yeah. Emma. Yeah. Which is kind yeah. of exciting. It's kind of like ladies night tonight. Hey. And I, I already just, like her better than both of you guys. That's fair. I'm, I'm by cool. both of you, I'm I cool mean you and the Star Trooper. Me? Oh yeah, I also forgot. Uh, we have the Star Trooper. Uh, sitting in for our fourth tonight. Uh, he doesn't really have a lot to say. He doesn't really play video games. Kind of busy being a space Nazi, but yep. he's there to uh, kind of fill his seat, have a warm body. That's a great bit for the audio podcast that yeah. cannot see him. Well, that's why they should come out to twitch.tv slash video game underscore bang every Wednesday and Saturday so they can see the live recording of this podcast. And if you're watching the live recording now, but you don't know that it's a podcast, go check us out on iTunes, Spotify, not SoundCloud, I almost said SoundCloud, uh, <laughs> Stitcher, <laughs> everywhere you get podcasts. No. Which is perfect timing because somebody just popped into chat that says it is their first time on Twitch and they got the app just for us. And if you're Ooh. listening to the podcast, I swear to God, that's true. Thank I'm you not so making much. that up. Thank you so much. Noxy1984 is his name. Go back, watch the VOD. If you're listening to the podcast, you could see him pop up. Welcome. Thank you. Um, you're from Aus he's from Australia too. What time is it? You know what? We're not going to get into that. It's, I'm yeah. going to get distracted with time zones. We're all good. We're all fine. <laughs> anyway, let's talk about games. Let's talk about games. Let's talk about games. Let's talk about games. Uh, first, Laura, what is new with Oblivion? How are things over at Oblivion? Things are going very well. Um, we are in the middle of trying to make some changes. Really? Yes. Um, now, I, I can say this, but I can't say that it is, is for sure yet, but we are in the process of getting approved to serve beer and wine. What? <laughs> I'm going to be there all the time. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah, we're pretty excited. Um, along with that, we are also working on expanding our food menu, so we might have more like sandwich type stuff. Oh, yay. What? Um, hey. So... <laughs> I swear to God, you get one more. This whole show, <laughs> you get one more. That's really difficult for me because I don't know what's going to happen later on in the show. One. Use it wisely. Ooh. Fine, Emma. <laughs> it's like the movies where you only have one F-bomb to use. <laughs> Otherwise, it's an NC-17. <laughs> that's awesome. Those series yeah. is awesome, though. That's so yeah, cool. Yeah, we're excited. It, it, it's going to, you know, it's definitely going to help to bring more people in, kind of set a different kind of atmosphere and... Um, also, we're working on trying to have more events like Trivia Nights. Nice. That's so, so cool. Um, yeah, we're really excited. So we hope we hope um, our customers are too. Uh, we will be. We'll be Thanks. very excited. Can I win free alcohol at Trivia Night? Yes. Oh, snap. <laughs> I'm down. I'm down. I'm <laughs> fucking sold. I'm, okay, so I'm binge, I'm binge watching like multiple shows right now. And screw all of them. I'm going to binge watch Jeopardy. I, was say, I don't Netflix think you realize now. how much Jeopardy I watch. It, I, I record mean, you, Jeopardy. you could get a lot, a lot of, a lot of information from it. Oh, snap. All right. That's what <laughs> we're going to do. Um, before we get into the news or anything, I want to talk about something odd I saw today. I think we talked about this off air before, but I don't think we ever talked about it on the podcast. So I went to Walmart today to get my oil changed and I'm wandering around the store. I saw an eSports arena in Walmart. Wait, they actually have one here? Yes. I thought they only opened like five of them. Well, one of those five is here. Yeah. Fucking what? Here? here well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You just walk in, you're like, why are, in, Why in, is anybody here? It's up in up in Roseville. <laughs> Do you know oh, where Rose you are? So, okay. So okay. If, if, you're, if you're local to the Sacramento area, you know where Roseville is. 
it's up there and it's so bizarre and especially for me because i was at the actual east i'm gonna say the actual esports arena (laughs) in oakland last weekend and i mean it's very obviously very different and so it's super weird that they put it in walmart and to me okay so they, they have one in santa Ana, they have one in vegas and there's other locations in the u.s but primarily it's in it's a i think it's a korean company mm-hmm. but to me it cheapens <laughs> the name putting it in a walmart it cheapens the name of esports esports arena <laughs> Well, be, like, I don't know. It just, I mean, I just, I, no, I, I totally kind of see that. that. It like, takes sucks the legitimacy out of it to Like, me. they couldn't put it at a Target? Target would have been, like... That would have been a little better. <laughs> it would have been, like, two times better. I'm not going to say ten times. It's going to be, like, two times no, better. No, Target is amazing. Target is amazing, but still, like, it just makes it seem like it's this, like, offshoot. Like, it's not... Like, especially a generic name, like, Esports Arena. Mm-hmm. You put it in Walmart, you're just going to get associated with, like, a generic thing. I don't know. I think it's really bizarre they put it in there. Um, they also launched their own PC for it. Overpowered. I don't know. They they sell really? overpowered. Wal- Walmart? Yeah. yeah. Oh. Uh, I'm looking okay. at it. It says, a new line of gaming PCs called Overpowered, all caps, <laughs> uh, by e- Overpowered by Esports Arena, launched exclusively on Walmart.com. The Overpowered line consists of three laptops and three desktop PCs, all at competitive pricing and premium specs. So they picked something that <laughs> that is is said in the gaming community. OP. OP. And and Big Walmart was like, we need to make computers called that so we can be relevant. Yes. Wait, they're all in Walmart. Not all of them. The Well, because I'm on well, esportsarena.com. All are at Walmart. Yeah. yeah. Okay, I thought it was like they picked our Walmart, and then like in a different city, it was oh, a different store. Oh, it's a different store. No, 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 they're no. all Walmart. They're all Walmart. Okay, uh, yeah. somebody in chat asked like what that means in esports arena, and this is what Walmart says it means. It says these new and locations. I'll tell you what it means after that. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm sorry. Do you do you doubt my? No, I don't doubt finding? you. I doubt Walmart. Fair enough. <laughs> uh, it says these new locations will operate similarly to esports arenas other locations with league nights during the weekdays and open tournaments on the weekends open play hours will exist daily for customers to train together try out a new gaming product or game or practice for an upcoming match so you can just go in and fucking play games yeah when i was there i was as i was so i, I went there specifically because i wanted to take a picture of it because i saw it in the distance i was like all right i'm gonna walk up i'm gonna take a picture of this because this is ridiculous um but as I was walking away from it, I heard somebody else walking towards it. And I'm like, oh, what? They put an arcade in here. I was like, you see? <laughs> you see? Do you see what you do? Oh, uh, who made this decision? <laughs> and, then, and then when I walked over there, the funny thing is when I walked over there, it was all kids. There was like maybe five or six kids in there. And there was like probably, I would say under 30 PCs in there. What age range do you mean by kids? Young enough to where their mom was sitting off to the oh, side, okay. waiting oh for them as they played Fortnite. <laughs> oh okay. my! And, Got it. And then two more walked up and talked to the guy that was there at the desk. And I'm pretty sure he said, "All we have right now is Fortnite, but we have more games coming soon." Wow. Uh, people in chat are asking if it costs to play. I'm sure it does. It does. Uh, yeah. They don't say, funnily enough, on their little advertisement. I'm pretty. It's sh- on the website. Oh, is it? Yeah. Okay. It says We're very prepared, clearly. <laughs> it says five dollars per hour until seven p.m. Oh, that's not bad. Ten to- ten dollars venue slash league fee after seven p.m. Okay. So that's interesting. Yeah, I feel <laughs> like at least it's the it's the Roseville. It's the Roseville Walmart, which yeah. Roseville's a little bit. Mm. Walmart is Walmart. Trust me. Yes. I, I was in there. It says Walmart. It's okay. Any Walmart. I won't argue that. I, I, I Yeah, I get it. Yeah. I mean, okay. I mean, <laughs> it's no Citrus Heights Walmart. It's no Citrus Heights Walmart, but it is. It is. It is still Walmart. It is Walmart. Um, <sighs> it, so, so e- Esports Arena is basically a, uh, it's a company that has uh, giant LAN rooms, essentially. Yeah. So you go there. And they have dozens of computers, um, high-powered PCs. 
you can go there, you could pay for X amount of time, you sign into Steam, you sign into a Blizzard, you know, whatever gaming, you know, client you use, and then you play your game for X amount of time. They also host a lot of esports tournaments, so uh, I was at the one in Oakland, which is not in a Walmart, it's an actual location, <laughs> uh, and I watched, uh, I was there for the California Cup for Overwatch League, it was between uh, San Francisco Shock and LA Valiant. Uh, which the shock won, by the way, which is very cool. Hey. Um, and the funny part, so real quick, the funny part about that is, so they did the series and they started it like a couple months ago and Valiant won the first round and then they had it for like maybe three weeks and then shock won and then shock is holding on to it for until February, which is the next, which is when season two of Overwatch League starts and until shock and valiant play again so it's pretty funny they get to hmm. it for like four months nice <laughs> um anyway that's what esports arena is i think it's bizarre that's in walmart it just sounds like the barcade that i went to in seattle except there's no alcohol so it sucks uh they have like dailies margarita packs over in the alcohol section for like a dollar you can go and get that and then go sit down and play some esports that's terrible <laughs> That is the most you Walmart thing I've ever heard in my life. 100%. I mean, you, you could, I mean, still also Walmart, you could go pregame in your car. <laughs> go tailgate. <laughs> I'm just, I, I mean, <laughs> you could. Fair that, enough. That is very true. Speaking of Walmart, though, oh. you, uh, you had quite the story about Walmart gaming as we're on this. What? what, uh, what that's right. What you playing? What you playing? I preemptively played the What You Playing theme song. And Emma didn't know because she doesn't have her headphones. Oh, yet. I'm very sorry. I'm <laughs> sorry. Okay. That was party foul. <laughs> My bad. We can fix that in post. We'll fix it. Mm. Oh, we'll leave it in. Uh, it before out. we get to what you're playing, uh, yes, before we move on from Walmart, we need to hear this story. <laughs> okay. I'm going to so... go to Laura Cam. <laughs> so, I, okay, I don't know all the details. I heard this. Make them up. Okay. <laughs> uh... I'm just going to put out a warning to be careful about the games that you apparently buy from Walmart. <laughs> this is so ironic after this story. Uh, somebody that I know bought a game recently from one of our local Walmarts. I'm not sure which one. But uh, it, he got home and it ended up being a, a bootleg of a brand new game. <laughs> like, So what is it? Like, what is a bootleg? Like, what did it do when he booted it up? It, it, he like, opened it up and it, I, I apparently it, is Red Dead Redemption a two disc? Yes. yes. He opened it up and there was one disc. Ooh. Okay. And then looked at it more closely and started seeing all these differences on the box and stuff that were definitely not real. So when he <laughs> so when he opened it up and it was the one disc, did the disc have like the the logo on it or was it just like in sharpie red dead redemption 2 i i don't think it was that obvious okay i could be wrong though <laughs> <laughs> but i do know that he tried to return it and they would not let him return it and he i think he even went all the way to calling headquarters and they were like sorry that's insane. And so he was stuck with this bootleg and had to buy a whole second So he just, like, game. threw $60 down the toilet. Yep. That fucking sucks. Oh, my God. Yeah. Did he, did he try to play it? <laughs> I, don't, I don't think he did. I'm curious. I want to know what happened. Well, I, like, part of me wants to know what's happened, and part of me wonders if it would have just exploded his Xbox. Yeah. Or, like, put a virus or something on it. Like, Well, I didn't hear that part, house. so I'm assuming that he didn't. <laughs> he could re-gift try. it. He could re-gift it. Oh my god, Secret <laughs> Santa, White <laughs> Elephant. I'm telling you, this is he can get his money's worth out of it. Okay. Take it to a white elephant. It's gonna be put like, it in there. He'll get like the he'll, you know, trade for the big gift. He's got it, and then boom, he's he's fine. That's he's a good clear. idea. I'll pass along that recommendation. <laughs> it's, like, it's like some sort of uh some sort of curse. Yeah. Of it's like it, it follows just gets passed around the people. I'll, I'll ask him though and, and see if I can get some more details yeah, and let you guys know. We gotta know what happened. That's weird. <laughs> Until next time. Until next time. To now be, I'm just like, man, continued. I'm a little, a little scared to buy games now. <laughs> Not gonna buy them from Walmart. Yeah. Nah. No. Just be careful. Do you think GameStop would cover that with their three dollar protection plan? <laughs> that they always try to sell. <laughs> only if you're would a pro, that cover bootleg. Only if you're a pro member. Shit. <laughs> uh, is it power up rewards? Or is, is, is it? it? 
I don't fucking know. I thought it was pro. I don't know. I thought. Well, I thought. I tried was... to call you out on that, and I realized halfway through saying it that I'm probably wrong. <laughs> what you playing, thing. Web? That's the best thing. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody Twitch clip that because every time she points out something wrong from now on, we're just going to play this clip. Um, hey, Pocket in chat says it's a power up pro, so we're both right. Hmm. All right, I'll give it to you. <laughs> Emma, how, what you playing? I think I know the answer. The fuck do you think I'm playing? I'm playing Spyro. <laughs> how, how is Spyro? <laughs> it's wonderful. It's phenomenal. Once I got past that install, oh my God, it's everything I've ever wanted it to be. So my entire life. Wow. Yeah. It's real good. It's real good. Are you have you beaten it yet? Well, I beat I hundred and I didn't hundred percent it, I hundred and twenty percented Whoa Spyro the Dragon. I hundred percented Spyro Ripto's Rage. And I have not started I did that yesterday, so I haven't started Year of the Dragon yet. Because I accidentally streamed for almost eleven hours yesterday. How how can you a hundred and twenty percent did you I don't write, know. did you write code and add it to the game? Did no, they had that the game? they had it in the original too. Like you could, you could get to one hundred and twenty percent. I'm not sure what the extra twenty is because I was just doing everything one hundred percent as I went. It must be, huh? I guess because I got all the dragons and I got every gem in the game and I got every thing, every little thing I could possibly get. It's so good. Okay, it's so mind. good. <laughs> I love it so much. Uh, so yeah, I accidentally streamed for eleven hours yesterday because I just couldn't stop playing. Did you it. say accidentally? Yeah, it was not the plan. <laughs> I was like, I'll get on for a couple hours, and then I, it was 10 hours and 42 minutes later, and I kind of wanted to die. <laughs> That's pro, pro streamer type hours. Yeah. It was did a good time, though. Uh, I did take a break for like 10 minutes at one point to eat. That's good. Had some, had Eating some is important. You got what? I got KFC. Uh, uh, Laura. <laughs> I know you're super busy with the comic book shop, but <sighs> have you been able to play anything lately? Do mobile games count? Yes. For you, we, were, we will allow that. <laughs> I like that those. Huh? Hmm? Oh. What does that mean? What do you think it means? What do you think it means? What do you think what, it means? What, what does it mean? What does it mean? What does it mean? Hmm? What have you been playing, Laura? So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I... <laughs> I like little games that are just like short time killers. So I am currently playing Operate Now Hospital and Animal Hospital. Same company, two different games. <laughs> just one is a human hospital, one is a pet hospital. Interesting. Are they in the same universe? I think so. Okay. Is but it a I crossover? Just, I just started the Animal Hospital one, so I'm not sure yet. Most ambitious crossover ever. <laughs> But I, again, it's just like little, like I can play it for like 10 minutes and then move on. I'm also playing this other one called Innocent, which is a really interesting game where you are solving this kidnapping and crime through text message. So the game looks like a text messenger app that you're oh, talking to people cool. and then okay. also the internet. It's kind of weird. Sometimes you get these creepy phone calls, but they're not real phone calls, but... Yeah, that one's yeah. taking me a while to get through. That's Interesting. weird. <laughs> I started playing, speaking of mobile games, I started playing a game called Happy Glass. And it's one of those games that was in an ad of another game that I play. <laughs> those, oh. you're the reason we get those ads, because people like you click on them and they work. I do too, I'm sorry. Sons of bitches. <laughs> but this is like... I get one more ad for what like is a it? fucking it's moral a puzzle, It's like a puzzle game where you, there's a glass... And then there's obstacles, and you have to get the glass. You have to get all the liquid into the glass, and you have to, like, draw draw lines to prevent the glass from, like, falling or to prevent other things from falling in the glass. Like, Is this the one that has, like, super, like, stick figure graphics and stuff? Kind of. I think I know. I think I might know which one you're talking about because oh I remember some ads. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I got it from another game, same company. It's like fireball game where it's just like a fireball that swings, and then you have to like tap to let go, and then grab some like, and just keep swinging through the level and see how far you can get. Aaron in chat also says he's playing that game too. Boom! All of you guys. Boom. All right, All that suck. just that just means that I need to try it out too now. Uh, if you're into mobile games, have you ever played a dark room? I have it. Because you mentioned it's it on the so stream good. once. It's so good. I was gonna say, I think I've talked about it here before, but holy shit, that game is good. There was another mobile game that was really good. We played it on the show. Um, Aaron knows what it is. I think it's called Royal. 
Aaron, type in chat if that's wrong. But I think it's that one where you see how long you can last. Oh, no, it's rain. It's called rain. It's how long you can last as a ruler. That's a ruler. Me. Yeah, like, like as a king or queen or whatever. And situations pop up, and you have to like deal with it and how you deal with it determines like what happens next and next and next and then it would be like you like finally you die it's like you ruled for you know 20 years or whatever and the people loved you or you ruled for two and you were overthrown and the king is in chaos now like yeah cool and then they They invented the guillotine just for you yeah (laughs) they came out with the game of thrones version too which i kind of want to play what i think that's this thing on the stream uh what's that what was that Sorry, I haven't actually watched this in a while. What was that little explosion? Oh, thing? so if people put if people put in a um, emote, they can it, like explodes on screen. Yeah, interesting. You could see it too if you come out to twitch.tv slash video game underscore bang. Um, I think the Game of Thrones version of that game is. Uh, I think I saw it on the nominations list for Mobile Game of the Year. <laughs> From Joystick Golden Joysticks. No, game. fuck that thing. Okay, we're, <laughs> we're gonna come back to that. <laughs> fuck that. We have to finish what you're playing. Uh, okay. <laughs> I've been playing um, Overwatch, um, and I also accidentally scre- streamed longer than I intended to yesterday. Uh, not 11 hours. Get Mine was only like. <laughs> Five and a half. Get on my level. Uh, those uh, rookie numbers. You got to get those numbers up. Been streaming with uh, Sliver.tv. And so had uh, they just kept hosting me because they didn't have anybody scheduled after me. So I was like, all right, well, I'm going to stay on. So I ended up playing for like five and a half hours of just nonstop quick play and arcade going back and forth. Quick you didn't play. do any comp? No, I don't do. No, because at the time, like the time slot that I am, I don't do comp that late unless I have people I'm playing with because solo queue is just. Oh terrible i solo queue everything i it's i'll solo queue in the day but at night it's like something like it's like after 8 p.m it's just nothing but trolls you don't know how much i hate my, i hate myself how much you i yourself? solo queue healer yeah okay that's me that's why i'm like <laughs> it's horrible no, i'm done i can't it's like, the worst it's it's the absolute i started playing um uh symmetra oh just no. just to try she's actually kind of fun to play mm. She's she's really good character now. She wasn't, but she's actually pretty good now. Do you play Overwatch? It's been a very long time since I played it. You should get back in. They got a new character and she's cool. Oh, oh have you seen good. have you seen Ash? Yes, I have. Okay, yeah, she's super fun to play. She cute. And 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 she's cute. She cute. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's. I feel like there's like a bajillion new ones. Gaming news with Emma Skies. It's my favorite version of that. I know. That was very nice. Thank you. It's night. It's calm. You know, it doesn't scare me. Uh, I, during I'm that theme song, I probably should have pulled my phone out. I'm so tempted to hit the air horn right now. You get one. I know. You get one. I know. Remember that. I know. You can if you want. It's just your only one. Um. All right. Uh. We'll start with the bad news first. We'll oh. we'll go up from there. We'll start with the bad news. Telltale Games. Oh, that is, that's it. That's the bad news. That's all right. And <laughs> next story. Next thing, um, Sad face. <laughs> so Telltale, we talked about uh, the fact that they were closing their doors very abruptly uh, a couple few weeks ago, and uh, it's if if you were kind of hoping something might change, if you're kind of hoping they might get saved at the last second, it's not. It's not happening. They are officially liquidating all of their assets. Uh, the uh, the company that's handling their liquidation confirmed to I think the Daily Wire that that's going down. Um, some of their games are starting to disappear off of Steam. So not only is their company oh. going under and you won't get any new games, you're gonna not be able to get their old games. It looks like the Jurassic Park series is gone, the Back to the Future series is gone, the Walking Dead series is gone from Steam. So if there are any Telltale games that you wanted to get and you haven't yet, get them now. I'm a little bummed. I didn't know there was a Back to the Future. <laughs> what? I, I briefly saw it. Yeah, because I, I want, have it. Do you really? Yeah. Because I want to get that, and I want to get the Batman Telltale. <laughs> get the Batman. It's still up. Is it? Okay. Batman is still up. Um, what else did I say is still up? Um, I had it, and I didn't write it down because I'm like, oh, I remember this, but I know for a fact Batman is still up because I was. Ri- oh, the Wolf Among Us was the other one. Wolf Among Us. Okay. Those okay. are still up as of when I saw this story a couple hours ago. So if you want to play those, I highly recommend that you do. They're incredible, especially both seasons of Batman. 
Uh, get them before they go away. Yeah, that's a bummer. That's too bad. It's, uh, it's, it's a bummer for all those employees, too. Yeah, that was the shittiest part that I read in the article I was looking at is that their employee health care is gone as of this month when they were expected to still have it for the next 18 months. What? They were recently informed that it's gone no. at the end of November. Oh, my God. That's terrible. That's, yeah. Oh, I, I just can't even imagine being in that kind of situation. No. Like, in case your employer didn't fuck you over enough, giving you no notice on getting laid off. Jeez. So whatever happened to them, it was like they just went bankrupt so fast. And didn't they just they, like we talked about like they just had a cash injection of like millions of dollars last year. Where the yeah. fuck did that go? Mm-hmm. What happened? It wasn't in the health care, apparently. <laughs> That's oh, too bad. That is too bad. But yeah, make sure you get those games. I wonder if they're going to be on sale. Uh, well, it is the Black Friday sales are coming up. So maybe they'll get marked off in like the Xbox store, or the Microsoft store or something. If they're still up in five days or six days or whatever it is that's true so it's a gamble uh, get it now or wait they're not announcing like when games are gonna be gone right it's mm-hmm. just no it's they're just, just kind of disappearing yeah Dang. it looked like it looked like people just happened to notice that the games are disappearing they didn't even say anything about it wow okay i'm <laughs> curious if you go to like a GameStop or something and try and buy a used copy i wonder how long those are going to be around their physical copies, I'm sure, are still around. Um, somebody in chat, Osmond in chat, said they possibly lost the rights. So they may oh, have lost sense. their licensing That's rights. That's valid. That's valid. In the liquidation. Uh, okay. But we'll see. We'll see. Uh, on to less bad news, but possibly bad news if uh, you're a PlayStation and an E3 fan. It looks like for the uh. first time in 24 years of E3, PlayStation is skipping the show. Yeah. Which is kind of a big deal. It is a big deal, but they should have skipped last year. Yeah? Last year was terrible. Oh, you mean that press conference? Yeah. yeah that, was that was such, rough. so, so bad. It was it was amateur hour. We put on a better show than they did. Wow. Oof. Yeah, I'm calling you guys out. Well, it was so awkward, the fact that, okay. They this s- was the one where they switched rooms all the time, right? They switched rooms. Okay. And then they had some random dude playing, like, a guitar for, you know, four hours in the corner. What? And then it wasn't four hours, but it was just like this random thing. And then they cut over to the like a, a news desk, and mm-hmm. the news desk had no idea when they were going to be like cut oh, back. No. So they were just like they say what they needed to say, and then it's like somebody was behind the camera doing this. So then like, they would just start talking you got about a vamp. You random, got a vamp. random shit because they they had hundreds of people in this like church type thing to just to announce one game. Mm-hmm. Like, like, um, is it Far, Last Far Cry? Us. Oh, Last of Us. Last of Us. Turning out Last of Us 2 in this one location. And they're like, all right, now we're going to go to the real location. And they had to escort like oh, hundreds of people no. into this theater. And then in between the announcements at the theater, they had these really weird animations of different instruments doing something like crazy. So what they should have done is do what BlizzCon did and what Blizzard did, where there were different rooms, but you didn't move anybody. Boom. It was like there was a camera set up in the Hearthstone room. Well, that's a bad example. That's the one that was messed up. There's one set up in the WoW room. Yeah. And they do their whole spiel and their whole stream. It's its own theater. And they're like, all right, next one. Move over to the Overwatch stream or Overwatch theater. Whole other theater. There you other go. audience. Everybody's ready to go. Just like one, two, three. If the mm. Hearthstone hadn't messed up, and, it would have been fine. And then you can be in one of those theaters, so you could see like the Overwatch one live, and then you see the Hearthstone one on screen. Like, yeah, they were all broadcast on screen too. Just that would make sense. Spot. That would have been so much better. So, so as much so, as we're anyway. shooting on PlayStation for this, I think oh. this says more about E3 than it does about PlayStation. That's very true. That's this a is lot. just E3 yeah. becoming something that's not worth it for them because it's incredibly expensive. The amount of space they take up at E3 is incredible. I it can't is. imagine what that costs. It, it, do, does PlayStation have their own event that they do? They do PlayStation Experience. Well, so they, they, they might just at be E3. like, was it? Was, is it? They do something at E3. I think they they do something, but they have their own. No, they do PlayStation Live. PlayStation Live. They have their own convention. Oh. So, so maybe they're just saying we're just gonna stick to our own thing. Yeah. I mean, didn't 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 like Disney or something do this do a similar D23? thing? Yeah. Yeah. Well, they put out a statement. They said uh, they said as the industry evolves, Sony Interactive Entertainment continues to look for inventive opportunities to engage the community. 
PlayStation fans mean the world to us, and we always, uh, wow, I totally just lost my place because I can't read. We always <laughs> want to innovate, think differently, and experiment with new ways to delight gamers. As, redu- as a result, we have decided not to participate in E3 2019, which to me kind of reads like shade on E3. Yeah. Where really like really the industry is evolving and you're not. Bit. Well, yeah. I mean, it, it is, and I think it's evolving. It's just it's just evolving in a weird way it's becoming more consumer driven consumer driven which like because e3 has always been b2b it's always been business to business and then they open it up to the public and suddenly it's a business to consumer show yeah yeah and everybody that was there as a business is like what are we doing here now because we we talked about like i i worked e3 the last two years as you know going for a business and it is it's really hard to talk to people now when you're not in the you know the couple hours in the morning that it's only yellow badges whoever's there for industry if it's industry only hours you're good you can get stuff done yeah. once the public comes in there it's really hard to talk to people it is it's hard to get around it's hard to talk to people well so so when you say it was business to business so was it like um it was supposed to be for businesses to come in and see if they want to invest in a game that there was or, a lot of that. There was a lot of that. Work together. Work together. It was um, partnerships, press. sponsorships, partnerships. press. So it, at one point, it would it would be to where you, as press, you can go up to Microsoft and mm-hmm. you can be like, you know, I, I'm you know with let's say Nerd Reactor. I'm with Nerd Reactor, and I want to do a story on this game or whatever like that. And you could talk to somebody. The E3, the one and only E3 I went to. It was press was like no better than consumer. It was like industry or nothing. Oh, it's been no, no, wait, wait. Let me rephrase that because it, it was industry. We it was were only industry. industry, so we were industry, and they wouldn't do anything unless we were press. Yeah, we couldn't get in. We can't do anything. I'm like, well, wait a minute. Like we're part of the industry, and they wouldn't do anything. Like they just kind of laughed. Like I was, I would go up to them and be like, hey, like, you know, I'm, you know, with the podcast. So I want to talk to you about, you know, whatever. I talked to Bethesda. I go, do you have any openings? And like, no. Okay. And they just kind of scoffed at me. So you got to learn how to work it. And now it's three... just anybody can go. Yeah. So for Any, that's pretty there. drastic. For change. most of the twenty four years, it sounds like it's been going. It's been industry only. Like you couldn't just buy tickets. You had to be a member of. I forget what it's called. There's a there's like a members only association for for the gaming industry, and you had to be a member of this industry and to pay your industry fee. And then you would get the chance to buy a ticket, but you couldn't just be a consumer and buy a ticket. For the last two years, they've been able to do that, and it sucks. So, what do you <laughs> That's think? A what do you guys think that E three can do to turn it around? Do you think it's it's only going back to you know industry press only? Do you think get rid of consumers? Do you think maybe have it one day consumers or whatever? I think if E three wants to be what it was, it needs to be industry only. But if they want to survive, they need they need consumers. Because the reason they started bringing in consumers is because they're hemorrhaging money. Yeah, they need that the money. Sense. That's that's the only reason they opened well, it up is they needed the money. What what if they like split it? Like certain days are industry only. They tried that a few years ago, where I think uh, it was what three days and two days were industry only, and one day was open to the public for ticketing. And that I don't know why they out? I don't know why they stopped doing that. Mm. Yeah, I don't know then. I I mean I think if they have to have consumers there, then yeah, I mean. Like Laura said, just do one day of consumers. You that consumers can spend two, three hundred bucks, whatever. Like two hundred bucks, like that's San Diego Comic Con. Mm-hmm. Spend two hundred bucks, you get one day. Go there, stand in you know your four hour line to play Assassin's Creed, and then <laughs> and then you know that's about right. Have some you know fifteen dollar nachos, and then that's it. That's your day. You can you can leave, and then the other two, three, four days or whatever is restricted to industry, restricted to press. And it can go back to, like, showcasing these games. Because when you have consumers there, it's so... There's so many just closed doors. Well, and showcasing games and hardware and accessories and software and all these things. Exactly. Because one of the things that I remember was, um, like, there's a lot of gaming accessories that that show at E3. But it, they're not made for a consumer show because they're not showing what they have for sale. They're showing what's coming. Because exactly. they're announcing things. So, like, you'll go up to the booth, and, like, the year they announced the Duke controller, that was, mm-hmm. what, two years ago, I think? Yeah, I think, or yeah. something like that. And, like, you couldn't walk up and buy it, but it was the the centerpiece of their booth because it was their big announcement. So they're they're announcing things for other... It was It's a whole thing. But, yeah, I think the E3 needs to decide if it wants to be an industry show or a consumer show 
figure that out. And then the companies that go there need to decide if it's still worth it for them to be there. So Osman in chat, you know, brings up the opposite side of the coin is how much value is the majority of industry actually bringing to the game companies by being at E3 versus the public publicity of the public having direct access to these conferences. So yeah, I mean, it, maybe we're biased because we're in the industry and we're kind of like, okay, we want to be able to talk to these people and play these games so we can review them, so we can, you know, bring them to the people. And then, and, you know, E3 is just cutting out the middleman and just saying, well, let's just bring the people to the to the game. I think all that in the long run is going to do is necessitate the need for an, a, a new E3. There's going to need to be a new industry-only conference while E3 becomes its consumer show. Right, uh, yeah. Yeah. That's going to be... That's, that's gonna be interesting because then eventually then it's gonna be the cycle. Somebody's gonna, gonna start. It's just gonna yeah. It's just gonna keep redoing. Yeah. Or yeah. Huh. That would be very interesting to watch. <laughs> what else we got? Uh. Well, then the big thing that we've got, or well, we'll see how long this takes, is uh, we got some Black Friday games shopping guides for you. Ooh, and we hey. have a big surprise on on. And that. there is a big surprise. Plot twist, everybody. There's a fucking plot twist to this this Black Friday thing. All right. So I kind of went through and checked out all the big retailers and what they're offering. And I'll say this right off the bat, a lot of them are offering the same thing. So the console deals are kind of going to be the same across the board. But here are the big ones. So at Best Buy, you can get a Switch with Mario Kart 8 Deluxe for 300 bucks on Black Friday. Which is like, it's okay. It's like 60 bucks off. Eh. Yeah, I mean, you basically get the game for free. get the free. game for free. Yeah. Which is, you know, it's okay. Um, you can get the PS4 Slim with spider-man a hundred dollars off which is what you're gonna see a lot with these console deals um okay. so you can get it for two hundred dollars you can get xbox one s with minecraft which oh what every that that's the hot ticket item this year is minecraft again a hundred dollars off so that's 200 bucks which is regularly 300 let's see um you can get the nintendo 2ds super mario maker edition for 80 bucks and i'm not gonna lie it's been so long since i had a handheld gaming device i didn't i wasn't entirely certain they still made <laughs> so ds's and well yeah and not only that they changed the 2ds like within the past couple of years to where the Did two they? yeah the 2ds was just this flat thing that you held and it was like it had it had the screen two screens but it didn't fold like the 3ds it was just this flat Ooh. handheld and then how did it have two screens then because it was like a top screen that was the main screen, and then there was like a smaller screen down below. So, oh, like, oh, oh, like so there were super tiny screens. Yeah, there were tiny. Yeah. Okay. Um, and then like within the past couple of years, they got they redid it. So then the two DS folds in half, just like the three DS does. So okay, Fair it enough. just doesn't do three D, which I have my three D off because it's weird. Well, uh, at Best Buy, you can get that, the Super Mario Maker edition of a 2DS for $80, which I guess is regularly 120 That's not a bad deal. It's not terrible. 40 bucks. That's all right. Yeah. Xbox and PlayStation controllers are $20 off if you're like me and keep losing things. That might be a good one. I don't know how, I don't know how this happens. It's fine. Moving on. Um, they don't have too many specific game deals. It looks like they have Rocket League for the Switch for 20 bucks, which is great because it's less than half the price. Yeah. Uh, God of War is marked down to twenty five dollars. Oh, Monster Hunter what? World marked down to twenty bucks. And uh, if you need to renew your subscriptions, they're offering ten dollars off of three or six months of gold and twenty dollars off of PlayStation Plus. This is Best Buy, right? This is Best Buy. Okay. okay. So that kind of encompasses their main gaming deals over at Best Buy. Um, let's see. GameStop has the same Xbox One S deal, so you can get Xbox One S with Minecraft for two hundred dollars and the same PlayStation deal. So those two are going to be pretty standard across the board. The Xbox One S for 200 and the PlayStation 4 with Spider-Man for 200 um, You can get $70 off any Xbox One X or One S bundle at GameStop and $100 off all PSVR bundles, which I actually recommend because oh. I love my PSVR. Interesting. If how you've been wanting to get it, this is a good time. How much is the PSVR full price? Uh, it's a hundred dollars more than what it is on Black Friday. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I I only wrote one hundred dollars off all PSVR bundles. I don't know how much it is usually. So we'll do nice. some homework. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> we have homework. Uh, they have Sea of Thieves, your game of the year for half off. Oh, thirty you know bucks. What? Thirty bucks is a good price to pay for Sea of Thieves. You can buy it again, especially now. No, I'm not gonna buy it again. 
especially now with all the stuff that they've added, 30 bucks, that's a super good deal. That's an Xbox game, right? Uh, yeah, Xbox, and, Xbox PC. and PC. Dang it. <laughs> Are you PlayStation only? Te- technically, yes. I can't really download more games on my laptop. I was going to say, you have, a, you have a PC right in front of you. This one does not handle that. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, PUBG for Xbox is 20 bucks, which I don't... What is it normally? I thought it was 20 bucks to begin with. Is um, it 30? I think it's... It, it might be 30, but it's pretty sure it's coming to Xbox for free. <laughs> oh, it's coming to game... It's coming to Game Pass. Oh, Game Pass. That's what it is. Okay. I'm pretty sure it's coming to Game Pass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Detroit right. Become Human, which was our, uh... Our Achilles heel. Our Achilles heel <laughs> in the Game Awards nominations is, uh, marked down to 20 bucks. Oh, snap! I actually, I really want to play that game. Horizon Zero Dawn, ten dollars. Oh, that's I'm, really okay. That's a really good game. That's really I, good. that is almost worth just buying again. Yeah, <laughs> give them more just money. A second copy in case one of yours is bootleg. <laughs> <laughs> and then, if you really want to have fun on Black Friday and get that real experience, you can get a five dollar tote bag at GameStop, fill it with as much shit as you can put in there, and it's all thirty percent off. What? But you can't put games or consoles in there. Oh. Because I was like, shit, I'll just put a fucking Xbox in there. 30% off my Xbox. Nah. No, so a, like, nah. t-shirts yeah. and pops. Accessory. Wait, what did they say? Uh, controllers. Collectibles and apparel. So not even controllers. Oh. Collectibles and apparel. So, like, 99% 30%. of what GameStop sells now. Yeah. Okay. The hot topic I mean, I guess that's GameStop. fine. Like, if you want some more nerd shirts or something. Yeah. Pops. You want some more pops. Yeah. Uh, let's see. So that, that was GameStop. Those were all GameStop. Next, we have Target, which doesn't really have a whole lot going for it this year. They have the same two Xbox One S and PS4 deals. Uh-huh. Uh, same thing as the other two retailers, except their... Well, I lost it. Their Xbox One S comes with a $20 Target gift card. Oh, huh. hmm. okay. Okay. So Free $200, plus you get a gift card. Plus you get a gift card yeah. to put towards an, another game. To, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, and then we have Walmart. This one's going to be easy to go through because there's a lot written here, but it's all the same. So the same Switch deal as Best Buy, the same PlayStation and Xbox One S deals as the other retailers. You can get an Xbox One S for $400. I said S, didn't I? Yeah, you did. I meant X. Okay. That makes way more sense. <laughs> you can get an X. <laughs> you can pay more at Walmart for an Xbox $100 One S. More. <laughs> <laughs> you can get an Xbox One X for $400, which is $100 off. Although I believe Microsoft is offering the same deal. Like, if you just buy it directly mm. from them. Yeah. Um, they do have more games listed, though. Their $25 games include God of War, Far Cry 5, and Rocket League on Switch. Okay. And I think Forza was on that list as well. And then $35 games, they have some newer ones. Skyrim for the Switch, hmm. Sea of Thieves, Assassin's Creed Odyssey, and Shadow of the Tomb Raider. Wow. And also okay. Destiny 2, the Forsaken Collection, if you care about things like that. And then why I've been speed talking through all of these is because none of these are relevant. Because there is a winner in all of these deals. <laughs> Do tell. And it is shocking. I must prepare you. Motherfucking Coles has the best <laughs> deal. <laughs> Solid time. I approve. Coles has the Good best choice. deals on consoles. That is Okay. I'm interested. That's bizarre. I didn't even know they <laughs> sold anything except for clothes. <laughs> so I knew they had an electronic section because I remember wandering around Coles one time and I'm like, why am I looking at iPods right now? What? <laughs> I don't this understand. Is this is, and, and it was, it was weird. It was a weird section of Coles. I felt like it was kind of walked into like a sharper image pop up. <laughs> like, this is bizarre. This doesn't feel right. But. Apparently they have consoles. Apparently they've been there in a long time. So, so <laughs> okay. What what do we got? So their console deals are relatively the same as the rest of them. However, they all come with Kohl's cash, which is essentially free money. Um, well, free Kohl's money. Free Kohl's money. <laughs> free clothes money. You can't be like, yeah, I'm um, PG&E. I need to uh, uh, pay my electric or bill or home goods. Excuse you. New year, new me. New me needs needs new clothes. Oh, true. Yes. Uh, you can get an Xbox <laughs> One S for two hundred dollars. Plus a $60 Kohl's cash. Did you hit the button? Dang, again? $60. She was laughing at the fact that um, how how that response came out. He said, I need new clothes. I said, yeah, that's true. And then it was- Wow. <laughs> I'm just going to go right over that one. 
gonna move right along Sorry, with my just... broken soul. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, you can get an Xbox One S plus sixty dollars of Kohl's cash. That's better than Target. You can get um, you can get a Nintendo Switch plus a carrying case plus a Turtle Beach headset plus ninety dollars of Kohl's cash for three hundred and thirty dollars. Wow. What? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. What? The Switch plus the case plus a Turtle Beach headset plus an extra ninety dollars of Kohl's cash. That's three hundred. I feel like somebody's desperate. I don't know, man. <laughs> and then my favorite, you can get the Xbox One X with PUBG for the same price. You can get the Xbox One X anywhere else, four hundred dollars this Black Friday, plus a hundred and twenty dollars of Kohl's cash. Holy! Do you know how many graphic tees you can buy with a hundred twenty dollars <laughs> at Kohl's? You know how much shit you can buy. Plus, I think you can stack this for every fifty dollars you spend. You get fifteen dollars in Kohl's cash. Okay, so, so you're getting ninety dollars in Kohl's cash plus one hundred and twenty dollars in Kohl's cash. So you're getting two hundred and ten dollars in Kohl's cash. I feel like that math isn't right, but yes, but something like that. One twenty, and then you can take that Kohl's cash. You can go back to Kohl's when it's available. I think it's like the twenty fourth to through the end of November or something, and you can buy controllers because they have those too. That's so crazy. Honestly, I could, I'm could. i so excited about this because I just could not believe. Okay, so here's a question. Do I have to buy this stuff in store? Can I, I do it online? I'm pretty sure you can do it online. Okay. Don't <laughs> quote me on that. I, I gotta work that Because day. <laughs> I know that there is there's a, an online coupon code Cheerful for free shipping, maybe? Okay. It stacks on all of that. I can't remember. Or 15% off or something. There's an online code. So I'm pretty sure this is all online as well. This is fucking insane. I, I like this comment in chat. Extreme couponing BGB edition. <laughs> Guys, I'm so excited about these coupons. <laughs> I could not believe. You know what, though? I've been to Kohl's on... on uh, no, it wasn't even Black Friday. I've been to Kohl's on Thanksgiving. It's not that crazy. No, yeah, I've done it. I've done Black Friday Kohl's, too. It's No? The no. one year I did Black Friday, I went to Kohl's. There was, like, nobody there. I think we went there one year, but it was, like, at 2 o'clock in the afternoon, and, like, everything was gone. Uh, <laughs> yeah, no, I <laughs> went... This is, this is a good one. I bought, like, pots and pans for, like, 20 bucks. It was insane. Nice. I bought this place. So you can get the same deals on... Basically, what this comes down to is you can get the same deals... On consoles that you can get anywhere else, because all the console deals are the same. Plus free Kohl's money. Which you can use to buy clothes. Kohl's, can you please sponsor me? I think I've said your store name like 17 times in the last five minutes. They are a big fan of the show. Well, That's Kohl's, insane. Kohl's has more than that, too. Like, they have home goods stuff, too. So That's true. Stuff for your kitchen, for your room. You, you get know? a new chair to y sit in yeah. while you play your new game. So it's, yeah, exactly. I feel like this is a good one for parents that don't want to feel guilty about spending money on themselves because you can go buy yourself a game console and look at this you got money for your kids clothes new there school year clothes you could you could take new that semester. money take that Kohl's cash and then go back and buy like a Nintendo Switch you for could. like 30 bucks mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. the majority of it will be spent by Kohl's cash yep assuming there's no restrictions on those Kohl's, ca Kohl's that's, cash <laughs> that's true and you, you never know, know. There are some restrictions. I know there that are for some. sure. Like Nike products you can't use Kohl's cash on. Ah, lame. Interesting. Or maybe, you, maybe it's just discounts. I can't remember. But yeah. <clears throat> but anyway. Oh, and to backtrack, I got I was too excited to get to Kohl's. To backtrack to GameStop, those Ooh. deals actually start tomorrow. Oh. Yeah, they're doing like a whole week. They're like, we're not waiting until Thursday. Whole week. Doesn't, doesn't, doesn't Best Buy do that kind of deal for certain people uh, i think if you're part of their um oh the gamers club no not even they just the just the best buy rewards club oh i think you get access to all the deals all their deals ahead so of I've, time i've been getting emails for like two weeks about black friday deals starting ruru 2 in mm. chat brings up a good point best buy price matches ah. but will they price match your kohl's cash oh that's a good point <laughs> that is true yeah <laughs> Um, I want $120 in Best Buy cash. I want an Xbox One X and $120 in Kohl's cash. That's insane. I can't get over that. That was, like, I, I was just looking at random Black Friday deals, and I saw a headline that was, you know, 
Kohl's has the best gaming deals this Black Friday. I was like, you're full of shit. And they weren't, they were not full of shit. (laughs) (laughs) So you just stumbled onto this. I did. It was hidden in the bowels of the internet. I had no idea. Wow. Well, thank you for sharing. Oh, you're welcome. And we'll be back on Wednesday with the Cyber Monday edition of this very exciting segment. (laughs) I'm just really excited about Kohl's Cash right now. I can't lie. Like, I. So does does this mean you're going to go buy an Xbox One X? No, because I have no money. I don't have the four hundred dollars to ex- get the Xbox. You're excited about the possibility. I'm excited for everybody else that's going to get one hundred and twenty dollars in Kohl's cash. If I go do it, I'll bring you with me when they use the Kohl's cash, so you can feel like you're a part of the experience. I feel like it'll just make me sad. Hmm. I don't know how to help you. Think. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, so we- that's uh, that's Black Friday. Are you guys? Do you guys do Black Friday shopping? Do I do shopping? Yeah. Not really. Do you brave the crowds? I think the most that I've ever really done is I've gone on to BestBuy.com and I looked at their movie deals and I ordered some movies. Fair enough. <laughs> I did one, I, I did a couple years. One year I actually lived across the street from the like one of the big malls in the area. Ooh. And so I just walked across the street to the mall and I avoided like three car accidents. Wow. Um, and avoided a uh, 40 minute wait time to get out of my apartment complex uh. so I can cross the intersection. Good God. Uh, it, it did take me that long because then there's there's a Best Buy that wasn't far from me. And um, I just like, yeah, it took me like 40 minutes to get there and it was like a block away. But yeah. I, I've done Black Friday shopping exactly once when I was like a senior in high school, I think. Okay. And How'd it go? Like, it, it wasn't terrible, but it wasn't fantastic. Like, it wasn't anything special, I felt like. Like, I went, we went to the mall because a friend of mine had something she wanted to get, and there was massive lines, and we waited an hour to get into H&M. Oh. I know. It was not worth it. And then I think we went to Kohl's, and I think we hit a Walmart, too. Uh, when I was a kid, apparently my mom tried to do Black Friday shopping to get me a video game. And she said it's it's exactly what you see in like the movies when they talk about Black Friday. Oh God! And it's like she it was at Sears too because Sears used to have of an electronic course. section. Sears used to exist. Yeah, Sears used to exist. And and the gate started raising and people dropped to the ground, rolled underneath the gate. And oh then my it. lord! And she goes, nope. Nope. <laughs> I, I would, too. I would just be like, not worth it. Speaking of Sears, this is 100% off topic and very local for anybody else that's listening. Um, they closed the Sears in the Galleria Mall up in yes. Roseville. Do you, did you hear what they're putting in there? Esports Arena. Movie theater. Oh, snap. There's going to be a movie theater in that mall. Like so, a fancy one. <laughs> hmm. Huh. So the other two movie theaters in Roseville aren't enough. They need to have a third. There's four in Roseville. Oh, my God. You're right. Wait. Olympus Point. Yep. Century 14. Yep. Blue, Blue Oaks. Oaks. Yeah. And oh, I guess it's Rockland. Studio so Movie Girl. It's uh, technically that's Rockland. True. Close enough. Wow. Interesting. Yeah. And then they're going to get a uh they're going to get one in the mall. It's like it's like a full and they're using all two sto- like all two stories. All, both stories. All two stories. All two stories? I was going to say three and then I realized it's not a three story mall. No. That's uh Do we know which what theater though? I did, and now I don't anymore. Okay, that's cool. I want to say it might be a studio movie girl. I what? Hmm. It's like some sort of fancy theater. I don't know. Okay. But apparently, one of the ones where like you can get beer and yeah. wine and food and and stuff. Because like it's that. at the fucking gallery. It's gonna be bougie as shit. That's true. That is true. I mean, um, ridiculous. It's gonna it's gonna be right next to fucking Tiffany's and Prada Louis and Louis Vuitton. That mall burned down, and then they just made it fancier. Mm-hmm. I remember, yeah, I remember when it burnt down. I used to work there before it burnt down. And I worked there after it burnt down, and they rebuilt. And I used to just walk through the back halls because it was just easier. That shit was creepy. To avoiding, like, that you would just avoid all the crowds and stuff. And then I remember <laughs> I had it worked there for a while, and it was after the remodel, after the fire and everything. And so I'm going through, and I get 100% lost. And I think I found my way, and I opened the door. And I end up opening the door out onto the food court balcony as the like, like family is sitting there eating. And I just pop out the door out of nowhere. <laughs> nice. <laughs> just, For those of you that don't know local history here at the VGB podcast, uh, some guy locked himself in GameStop and set it on fire. Uh, because aliens stole his sister. Yep. Yeah. 
Yep. It was great. Schizophrenic off his meds, but yeah, he barricaded himself in the GameStop, set it on fire. For some reason, somebody manually turned off all the sprinklers in what? the mall during the fire, and that's why it got so bad. Burned down half the goddamn mall. The part the part that wasn't burnt down got damaged by smoke and and water. A lot of stores were just like, it's not worth it. It's not worth rebuilding. No, they they called a they state of emergency up. for the area because like 3,000 people lost their jobs. Yeah. Yeah, I had friends that lost their jobs. I had stopped working at the mall weeks before that happened. Like, so I was like, ooh, that was good timing. That's Crazy. Insane. Um, All right. Well, if you are listening to the podcast, you can hear the wrap-up music. Uh, also, Emma, it's wrap-up music. You don't have your headphones on, so just want to let you know. Uh <laughs> <laughs> my voice sounds weird in my headphones today. I didn't want to hear I, it. I don't know why it sounds weird. Um, so that is it for this week's show. Laura, do you want to tell us anything special that's happening? Um, I do want to just mention that we are going to have some Black Friday deals on Friday, obviously. Nice. Um, I cannot say what they are yet, but keep an eye on our social media, Oblivion Comics. Um, we'll post about that soon. I'm also working on trying to get a special signing with somebody <gasps> on Friday. Ooh. I was going to be able to, I was trying to be able to say who, but I can't at the moment because it's not completely finalized. But also keep an eye out for that because I think you guys would be very interesting and in, interested well, we if are, you're in the Sacramento area. We are very interesting, but. Um, that too. What? Can you give us a hint? Like, what industry? Comics? Uh, it is uh, it is comics. Okay. It, it will be a comic book signing, um, but it's also a, a separate fandom that is related to it. So, um, okay. that's really all that I can okay. say right now. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, Emma, I think I know what you're going to say, but uh, do you have your streaming, streaming schedule? No, because cool. it's not Sunday. Because it's not Sunday. Check out twitter.com slash emmasguys tomorrow, where my schedule will be up at some point, probably very late at night. Uh, is it going to be, um, a, a, well, if you're listening to the podcast, this is yesterday. Check it out yesterday. On Sunday. Uh, when the yes. schedule gets dropped. Uh, is it probably going to be Spyro? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 It'll be, it's, it's going to be Spyro. Um, I fucking love Spyro! fix that in post uh i will be streaming on monday and tuesday um and then probably friday next week uh wednesday we will be having a show um right here on twitch twitch.tv slash video game underscore bang uh come check it out um and then you have something to listen to when you go to see your family on thursday oh are you gonna be like me and your whole family ditches you (laughs) wow you can come hang out at oblivion with us on thanksgiving are you gonna be working? Yeah. So oh, only for a few hours, though. Okay. So I was ask if you guys are open on Thanksgiving. I think it's like nine to two or something like that. Oh, cool. Yeah. Come have coffee and and chill. Yeah. Coffee and chill. Yeah. <laughs> Come say Thanks, hi. Bro. All right, everybody. Well, that's the show. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys for listening. For Emma Skies, Laura from Oblivion. I am the real David Webb. Saying, we'll see you next time.